How's it going, everyone? Tim here, TRD Adventures, coming at you. Um, end of the week here, finish, just finishing up a project I've been working on here. Um, we've been working on my Vanquish VS410 Pro, um, doing a uh, new body on it, putting it, getting it set more for uh, just some trail, uh, scale trail type truck for it. I decided that was going to uh, be the destination for my Pro. Uh, for the future there, uh, just been working on a little bit over the last couple weeks. Um, it's been a long past couple weeks at work. I'm kind of wore out and kind of hurting. So uh, anyway, let's get to it. So what do we got here? So we started um, new body. Um, prior, I had the Proline um, Lexan 4Runner body on it. It's a great look of body. I love that uh, the Proline 4Runner body, but <clears throat> wanted to go more scale trail, so hard body it is. So we went with the RC four wheel drive uh, 1985 4Runner body. Um, it's a body that I've wanted for quite some time. <clears throat> um, just finally decided to just go ahead and get it, and this is what we were going to put it on. Seemed like every time I thought about it for, I was always like, "Eh, what am I going to put it on?" What am I, you know, what do I want to do with it? But I finally made my decision and we went with it. So start up here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, start up here um, on color. I decided to go um, with a just a bright um, orange and then hit it with some Tamiya uh, flat uh, clear over the top of it. Uh, it took me quite a little bit to decide on the color I was um, going with. I was debating purple or more of just a traditional like a blue or red, but it's like no nope. orange it is so that's what we went with and um, starting working our way through here um just a temporary front bumper here just a, a kyx bumper i had in my drawer um when i order when i get a bumper ordered um for my uh, class one i will be getting a also placing an order to get a front bumper made um, rear bumper i'm okay with it um, just a metal uh, tf2 bumper there for the rear so working good i also started with uh, blacking out the uh, trim basically anything that's chrome because i'm just not a chrome person and um, i did line x um, the lower part of the bumper there i'm going to keep that where the fog lights and everything are um, lights this is the uh, i got a power shift rc light kit um, the old <clears throat> or the faded color um, where it's not bright bright you know the blue led it has that old school look that how hal that halogen look that's what i was looking for the halogen look to it um i will probably do up here on the roll bar probably do a uh, light bar here too at some time or the um or some light pods haven't fully decided there what i want to go with uh then interior wise here um this was my best little go at some you know, detailed painting there. I decided to go gray on the dash because they're it's just an easy color, honestly. A um, little bit of black and some orange there on the seats. Um, I tried to do, I textured the seats beforehand, um, painting them to try to give them uh, kind of a, you know, that weathered or that aged leather look. Eh, still a 10 footer, you know, not for me. I'm very happy with it. I was very excited with the way it came out, but um, compared to some of these other um, talented builders and stuff like that, <clears throat> probably a no-go. But for me, I'm super excited with it. Um, for the floor in here, I used some uh, just some foam pad there uh, for some carpet interior there um, to help cover up where I cut out for the VFD transmission. Um, just to make sure everything slid in there to keep this interior in all of its depth. Uh, so I had to do some extensive cutting in there. Uh, covered it up, I think, pretty well with the with that foam there. I um, still need a couple finishing touches there uh, for like the shifter went stuff like that. Um, hopefully my driver will be arriving tomorrow. He was delayed in transit like a lot of things are right now. Oh, and speaking of, um, decided to go with the uh, metal tube doors for this build. Um, there's one thing that I really, really like are the tube door style there. Uh, so when I was putting it together, I was like, when I ordered the body and everything, I was like, I'm getting the tube doors. I want the tube doors really, really bad. So um, we got the tube doors. I think they're just a cool look to everything there. 
Then we also went with a metal uh, roll bar headache rack. Uh, we do still have the uh, topper here. And I did also uh, line X uh, bed line the topper assembly there for when I want to put that on, you know, for a rainy day. Uh, the bed also, we did do a uh, line X bed liner um, for the bed itself. I did cut through the bed for just the shock towers. I know scale trail build, not exactly the most scale, but I can always cover that up. And with the black, it's not super, super noticeable, hopefully. Um, Throwing some nice scale accessories and everything in there. Um, and so, exterior wise, everything's really just kind of coming along there. I'm really really happy with the way it came out um wheels and tires here uh we are rocking the rc four wheel drive um black rhino armory wheels 1.9 i'm just a general super fan of those wheels in the first place um i really want them for my tundra myself uh, <clears throat> and naturally those wheels came out after i bought methods for my truck so i was like i knew i should have waited but so maybe someday, maybe someday I'll switch out the methods for these for my, for my Tundra there. But in the meantime, these will, these will hit my fix, you know, that way I at least have them on something. Um, tires also RC four wheel drive. These are the Goodyear regular MTs. One of my favorite, um, just tires. If I'm going, uh, for just that scale aspect, they're just a great looking tire. Um, and super I mean, they they work perfectly for, you know, scale and trail aspect of everything. So, <clears throat> how did I attach the body here? Um, actually, it was fairly easy. And we'll show, I'm going to pop the body off real quick. And I'll show you exactly how I got that. So, wrong quick little again look here now that everything's off. And uh, I said just a few little finishing touches, everything here and there. I said do a little work on the shifter there. Um, one thing also that will be next up is finding a very low profile um, print or engine cover design to cover up in there because when you open the hood you just see ESC and ESC and servo just like some just a little cover up you know just for more of that um, scale aspect I know I've seen something before for very low profile right there but I just cannot remember if you know where I could find one or someone that makes a good one please let me know in the comments below I'd be very interested in acquiring that Attaching the body, I'm using this 3D printed um, mount here, um, which just simply attaches to where the stock um, sliders attach, and then I use some set screws. So that was one thing I was um, searching for when I decided to do that body on the VS410. I was like, man, how am I attaching that? And then, naturally, lo and behold, across my feed was the video of last year. Um, I remember Harley, uh, Josh Harley Designs was using that body for what would have been his class one, and I remembered and watch the video he designed um the sliders and put them on his thingy verse so that was awesome and it was just like yes exactly what i needed and it was simple um got my man there on the 3d print these up for me he did a fantastic job um so also with the forerunner body i did shorten the wheelbase a little bit i uh got some shorter rear links here shorten it up to about 11 3 11.4 um just running some 90 millimeter desert lizard shocks there uh, up here in the front I'm running a Thruberless RC uh, G11 servo, uh, direct 3S power for just my trail setup here. Great servo. I've comped with it. It's in just about anything, trail trucks, other stuff. Just a great servo there. Next to that is the Hobbywing um, Axe R2 uh, 2800 KV combo. Um, just wanted something uh, nice, smooth, and quiet for the trails. So um, that does its job perfectly, but overall, I'm very excited with the way this has came out. Hopefully take it out. Um, if I'm feeling up to it, starting to physically feel better, I will be getting out, um, in the trails just to, you know, some nice and slow may just do a nice, just a straight trail. No problem. Just grab a couple batteries, throw them in the pocket and just do some trailing. So anyways, um, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit that like button down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and want to keep following along. So hope everyone has a great one out there. Uh, keep building and crawl on.